Hello you guys, today is the very first day of Ramadan 2021. I hope you're all having an amazing start to the month. I only have energy because I'm not fasting this year because I'm breastfeeding because usually I would look like this. This is what I normally look like. <laughs> How are you doing Omar? <laughs> that no caffeine in life. What time is it right now? <laughs> It's not even, I mean, uh, it's like 2 o'clock. It's 3. 3, okay. 3.15. 3. You have 4 hours. It's just the first day. <laughs> show me your shirt. Yeah, show them <laughs> your shirt. I took pictures of Nope, this. not even water. Not even uh, water, Omar? <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> I just finished up working for the day. That's why I'm all dressed up. I just finished filming. We just took some pictures. And now I'm going to go pick up my baby. And what are our plans for our first iftar, Omar? I, I didn't want to cook something and then have it go to waste because I didn't know if we were going to go eat with my mom or your mom. We should ask. Well, we didn't talk to my mom. We yeah. should ask your parents. Oh, I your mom said she was going to mix. mix my mom, right? my dad's not going to be home because he's going to be working tonight late. So, I mean, I guess we could just go eat with my mom and sisters if you want. Yeah. My mom's making soup and mini pizzas, which sounds very good. It does sound good. Um, so, yeah. I guess we'll just go eat with them. Everything sounds good right now. <laughs> yeah. I usually, like, I don't know, last Ramadan, I didn't get to cook, like, very much at all because it was just me and Omar. And we would always go eat with our parents. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Basically. So I do want to eat at home more this year because obviously we have Elena. I don't want to be out late every day because her yeah. schedule is already going to be messed up anyways. I don't want to like mess it up too much. Anyways, I'm going to go pick up Elena. I just got to my mom's and I'm going to try to film um, Elena's reaction when she sees me because it's literally the cutest thing ever um, when she's been away from me for a little while and then she sees me again. Oh, it literally melts my heart. <gasps> who's that? Look at who's that? Hi, kid. How are you? Hi, mommy. I love you. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, what's wrong? She's just not in a good mood. Oh, no. What happened? I think she's tired, honestly. Oh. But she slept good over there. Oh. So, I don't know. What's wrong? So, Iftar is past her bedtime. Yeah. I literally just realized this. Yeah, that's what I was telling you earlier. I know, but I just realized it. So like us going to our parents' house. What's wrong? Us going to our parents' house for if thought it was gonna be so hard. Yeah. Because she's gonna be so exhausted and I know. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna have to cook a lot more at home, which I would like to do anyways. It's just that every year we always like to eat with our families and just make it a bigger thing, but are you teething? <laughs> yeah, she starts, she's been doing that. She's been feeling her bottom teeth with her tongue. He's so funny. <laughs> Guess what Omar did for us this morning? <laughs> he made me and Elena pancakes. <laughs> making pancakes. First day. Thank you for making me do this, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing it. <laughs> Elena, you love those pancakes? Wow. <laughs> Just grabbed it all by herself. Literally the first day of Ramadan. I felt so bad, but they were very good. Maybe that's why I'm so hungry now, huh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, it, he honestly drinks coffee yeah. every single day, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same, but I just don't drink coffee, so I can't really relate anymore. Which I tried but to taper off a little bit the past few he days. He just but, cut it cold turkey. But, but you're still gonna drink it for after maybe the star, decaf. Maybe decaf. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I just anyway. feel so drained today. Oh my god. I'm sorry. First day. That's yeah. how it is. Yes. I'll do better tomorrow. So change of plans. Yeah. We picked up food. Well, Omar went and picked up food from my mom's house. Yeah. And we we're gonna eat at home for our first iftar. Yeah. We just realized that. We literally just realized today, which I don't understand why we didn't realize this sooner, but yeah. obviously our world revolves around Elena yeah. and if dark time is just too late for her yeah, to be and, out and about. And if she's, you know, most most days she wants to sleep at her bedtime. There's... I took off my makeup and have skincare on, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for bed. <laughs> um, there's 
There's days when she does a little bit better staying up a little bit later. So since it's just the two of us and both of our families live near us, it just always made sense for us to like go eat with them. So we yeah. hardly ever had a Ramadan iftar, like just the two of just us at home. Of us. We because, probably had like literally two. Yeah, we would always be back and forth between your family, my family. Just, you know, we want to celebrate with everyone. Yeah. So this year is just a lot different for us. Yeah. And this is going to be the two of us. <laughs> we That's said okay. we said that they can come visit us, you know. Right. Like our families can come over here whenever they want, as long as Elena is good and sleeping. Right. But well, they want to see Elena too. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't really care about us. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to be a little bit different. But we said maybe once she gets older, inshallah, we're not going to have to worry about this, and right. maybe we can have this her out past her bedtime. Yeah. yeah. So just this year, it's just going to be maybe a quiet at home Ramadan. <laughs> yeah, which so. is fine. Okay, so let's get the food. Just wanted to quickly show you guys what my mama packed me because she's the best mama ever. She made chicken, rice, soup, mini pizzas, and dessert. This is pound cake with whipped cream and raspberries. So we are going to dig in and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Elena's ready for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Omar and I have some filming to do today, so I think his sister Meta is going to watch her for a little bit. But looks yeah. like she might still be asleep. She hasn't texted us back yet. <laughs> it's the second day of Ramadan, so. Yeah, that's how it goes. People be waking up late. So I'm gonna go get myself ready a little bit and I'm gonna make the bed. And I just got my groceries. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna do a little bit of a random grocery haul for you guys and I'm really hoping Elena stays calm during this because she's been a little bit cranky. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some lentil soup tonight. I actually already filmed a week of dinners and I included my lentil soup in that video. It's just a very classic soup that a lot of Arab families make. This time I'm gonna make it with a few more ingredients because I was looking up some recipes and you can make the red lentil soup so much more flavorful. So I'm gonna be adding some diced tomatoes, um, yellow onions, cilantro, carrots, celery, and then I usually add cumin, um, so I'm gonna add that. And then I also got some ginger powder. And I can't remember the other spices, but I think I already had them. I just have to check the recipe again that I will go ahead and link below. I don't think I'm gonna make it with you guys since I already have that whole video with all the recipes. So anyways, I'm just gonna throw this together tonight. It's super easy in the Instant Pot. Then I got some blueberries for breakfast and I went ahead and got some more maple syrup and butter for my pancakes because Omar is so good at making pancakes so he can continue making those for me and Elena. And then I got some more eggs and I got stocked up on our avocados because Elena is addicted. And also I use these for my avocado toast. This tea is one that Amanda introduced to me. It is so good. Oh my gosh, if you're looking for a new tea to drink after iftar, um, just like with your dessert or whatever, it is so good. And apparently it's good to help you relax and a good tea to drink before you go to sleep. It's caffeine free and it's so delicious. I got some more salt. This is the kind that I usually get. I realized I didn't have anything for myself for lunch since I'm not fasting. <laughs> Yesterday I felt like I was fasting as well because I literally didn't have anything during the day to eat. So I got some tuna and some mayo to make some tuna salad just so I'd have like a quick little lunch to grab during the day. I also got some coconut water. This is probably my favorite brand of coconut water. It's the CO2 one. It's so, so good. And then I got some extra noodles. This is the pasta I usually get just in case I want to make some pasta this week. I got some dates and under there, I'm holding Elena now because she was upset so i can't really show you but i have my coconut date rolls under there i'm actually going to try to make the coconut date rolls during ramadan because i'm sure they'd be super super easy to make and i also got some mixed nuts for omar because that's like his little snack <laughs> in the middle of the night now it's about 4 p.m we just got back from picking up elena we have been Busy bees over here. We have been filming a cleaning video, which hopefully you guys will see very soon. I think you guys are gonna really love 
that video and now our house literally smells so good but i do have to clean up a little bit even though it was a cleaning video it's kind of a little bit of a mess so i'm gonna clean up a little bit and then i'm gonna make some lentil soup and we were actually talking to omar's sister meta earlier and she said that they were eating at home and they literally live like right around the corner so we decided that we're gonna eat together tonight i'm gonna make the soup and then i think she's making chicken sandwiches that she's gonna bring so yeah we're gonna have iftar with them tonight elena is taking a nap Alhamdulillah, she went down very easily. She was super tired, so I'm gonna hopefully try to cook a little bit while she takes a nap. I actually put together a tuna salad sandwich. <laughs> I just threw this together because I'm really hungry and I hate complaining about being hungry when I'm not even fasting, obviously, because I'm breastfeeding, but I just haven't eaten anything all day and Omar's sitting right there and I know he obviously hasn't eaten anything all day. I feel really bad eating in front of him. I wanted to do a little like health update in this video because I mentioned in a previous video that I was having some stomach issues after or during my pregnancy and then even now and I've been having like a lot of pain and I finally got a EGD which is a little scope where they look down into your stomach. They have to put you to sleep. I was so nervous about the procedure, but it was perfectly fine and it was super quick and easy and it was really nothing. I shouldn't have even been scared to do it, but basically they diagnosed me with gastritis, which is a lot better than I thought it was. I was literally was just thinking it was gonna be the worst possible thing. My mind always jumps to the worst. Thankfully, it's just gastritis from what we know. So. I'm being treated for that and honestly i don't even know if i would be fasting this ramadan if i wasn't breastfeeding i'm taking medicine for that morning and night but i'm also taking this numbing drink that my gastroenterologist prescribed to me that's like literally the only thing that's been helping with my pain i am currently just working on healing my stomach if any of you guys have ever struggled with gastritis maybe you can leave me some tips down below i just wanted to update y'all on that since i hadn't mentioned it in like really months <laughs> and when is in their jolly jumper but they're not very jolly okay i'm currently chopping getting things ready to go in the instant pot and baba is feeding is elena her dinner oh she's eating some vegetable soup we were just talking about last ramadan she was just a little fetus <laughs> it's so crazy subhanallah and now she's here yeah Table is all set. I have my dates in the middle for everyone to enjoy. And my soup actually turned out so delicious. I'm so excited for everyone to try this. It has so much more flavor than the other lentil soups that I usually make. So I will leave the recipe for this down below. What's up, guys? Hello. Are y'all excited to What's eat? Up? Yeah, so it's all, to almost eat. time to break our fast. It looks so pretty in here. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Get the pita bread, and then you'll put the cucumber yogurt sauce first, the chicken on top of it, and then I made like an olive oil with cilantro dressing that you'll put on top of that. And then you can add your onions and your tomatoes. Mara, that looks so good. Thank you. It mm -hmm. smells really good. When I Mara yeah. outdid herself, and these sandwiches look so good. <laughs> look at that. She said she found the recipe on TikTok. I hope it tastes good. Yummy. Of our lentil soup, salad. We're about to pray and dig in. Have coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you for bringing cookies, Mara. Of course. So good. <laughs> good afternoon, you guys. We have been in our pajamas pretty much the entire day. It's <laughs> now three, what, three o'clock? Yeah, three fifteen. Three fifteen, and we finally got dressed for the day. And I threw on the same shirt I was wearing yesterday because it was the closest one next to me. And today's been a really chill day. Honestly, I didn't have really much work to do, but I forgot a thumbnail from the video we filmed yesterday, so I had to get all dressed again. Take a picture. Thumbnails are, I don't know why they're so hard for me to remember. Like, you film the entire video and then you're like, oh my god, what am I gonna use for a thumbnail? Anyways, YouTuber props, right? We are gonna do a little unboxing today with some Muslim owned brands, some clothing pieces that I have, and we're gonna go eat dinner at Omar's family's house tonight. 
should be good. I'm we're really going to try to take <laughs> Elena. We're going to oh, try yeah. to let her um, take like a late nap or something. And then hopefully she does okay. It's going to be We said we were just going to eat and leave so we could be back early because... Yeah. Oh, we're dropping anyway. Oh. <sighs> Anyways. You guys, we got our Eid family pictures back and they turned out so adorable. First of all, look at this one of Elena and my mom. I don't know if you can see that very well, but look how happy Elena is. It's because my dad is like talking to her from behind the camera. It's so cute. And then look at this one I have as my screensaver right now. It's me and my baby. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, try it again. Elena isn't crawling yet, but I think she'll probably go straight to walking because <laughs> she was like balancing herself. Yeah, she's only herself. We got to we got to baby proof this. We got to bubble yeah. wrap the entire table. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good job, mama. Good job, mama. Good job, mama. Oh, boys are tired. I love you. They're exercising. Oh. It's hard work. I wanted to show you guys the dresses that I got for Elena that were options for her to wear for Eid and for pictures during Ramadan and stuff. So that if you guys have a little girl in your lives, this could give you guys some inspo for some Ramadan or Eid outfits. This is the dress that she wore in our family Eid pictures that we took. It looked so beautiful, so pretty for spring, so delicate with this little lace tool so pretty and then i got a couple of options from janie and jack this is one of them i tried this on her the other day it is adorable it's literally so cute with her little rolls on her arms showing it's so adorable and this part is tighter around her bodice and then it puffs out like a little print she literally looks like a princess it's so cute and then this one i haven't tried on her yet it's another one from janie and jack that i thought was really gorgeous and kind of gave me like ramadan and eid vibes kind of like with the mixed metals these are a couple of options from ivy city they do really beautiful mommy and me dresses i don't think they had mommy dresses that were as modest I as I would like, but the little girl's versions were stunning. I love this foil print in the pink, and it comes with the little bloomers that match, and then this also comes with the bloomers that match. So, so pretty. So I wanted to share those, and I will link them down below. I have a couple more Muslim-owned brands to share with you guys. This one I'm really excited about. It's by my friend Yasmeen J. She just came out with her own modest brand, and I actually met Yasmeen in Jakarta during Jakarta Modest Fashion Week. She is stunning, mashallah. She is so sweet, and she has incredible taste. And this was my favorite piece from her first collection. And she's actually Australian. So it's an Australian brand. A lot of their pieces, I'm going to share with y'all a couple more, are more for like cold weather right now since it's cold over there. I think it's like fall time, I guess. So, but I thought that this particular satin maxi dress would be perfect for Eid. And the quality is impeccable. Here are a few more pieces from Yasmeen J's collection. So since it is fall winter time right now, these materials are a little bit thicker. It's like a beautiful velvety finish. I'm going to be saving these so that I can actually wear them when it's weather appropriate. But if you're from Australia, then definitely check out this collection. Their pieces are stunning and neutral and so up my alley. I love these rose gold buttons on this double breasted blazer. You can also get these joggers to match. The blazer is kind of like a set or you could get the sweater. It's like this printed, different textured sweater that matches the joggers as well. It's so beautiful, I love all the sets. She also has a beautiful satin scarf in that same print. Congratulations on your first collection, Yasmeen. It is stunning. The next Muslim-owned brand I have to share is Lanouk. They have a modest swimwear and they just came out with a new collection as well. So I'm gonna try on one of these. Here is the swimsuit on. It's black leggings and then this beautiful kind of like petal design tunic. It's actually a swimsuit. It has the bra built in and um, it has like a swimsuit bottom built in as well. So it's not gonna like fly up or anything like that while you're swimming. So I love this. I actually really wanna plan a little getaway for Omar, I, and Elena after Ramadan. I would, oh, I'm like dying to go somewhere tropical, maybe Mexico, who knows. We'll see how the situation is by then. Yeah, 
Oh, she had to. Yeah. She learned how to clap out of nowhere.